What's up guys? Mario here again. Um, I just want to create a sh quick tutorial about a plugin that I use. So it's a uh, hide base. So it's called the uh, Carpano Toolbox. It was created by uh, Tour. Uh, I think his name is Arthur. Um, he's pretty active in the Carpano community. Because uh, usually plugins are located here even the free ones uh, in this case it's not here but um, if you look the look at the forums you'll, you'll find it um, basically it's used for editing hotspots uh, polygons so you press T and you see this and then you can drag it around and when you press print P um, wait. Uh, it should show the coordinates um, so Let's try it out first. Uh, so the download here link is here, but uh, when I click it, nothing happens. Um, not sure why. So, uh, but um, if you use this uh, link, uh, it downloads it. So I have it here. Um, just open my. So let's say we start a new project. Uh, two scenes. Uh, I drag it to the make vitor. You should already know this at this point if you watched my past videos. So just uh, just creating the base template. Okay, so we have it. So it's here. What I do is I just unzip the toolbox here. Extract here. Um, so I have this toolbox delete this fine well I don't need this anymore and then I will add uh, a link to toolbox that tour toolbox 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 I will include it in my project so to see if it's working um, I pre press T so it's working so actually I was quite surprised because there are new stuff here that I don't have in my version so this grid this is new um, I'm not sure how I'd use it yet um, Chuck quiet making a video stickies are like um, template code um, like you need a layer template layer block layer yeah whatever it's called um i haven't looked into this much but i pr use a lot this too so pol pol polygonal hotspots are if you want to create like lines and make them clickable or something um Actually, it kind of changed. Um, show code, press L. Oh, so it has changed. Because uh, before, I had to press L. Um, show code or press L. Um, hmm. Let's try that again. Polygonal hotspot. Here, here. Start. Show code. Press L. Capital L? It's actually not working. I don't know what happened here. Hey, hey, ah, press finish and press L, L, L. Oh, there you go. Okay, so, so let's say we want that in our tour. Okay, <laughs> let me just do that again. Uh, so let's say I want this door clickable. I do this. Uh, press spacebar and then press L. So if I copy this to my XML, then I should see. Um, polygon there. Um, I plan to create a separate tutorial about polygonal hotspots, so I won't talk much about it right now. So another thing is you can use it for distorted hotspots. So let's say um, um, if you're not familiar, a distorted hotspot could be a video or image that looks as if they're naturally placed in the scene, like a painting. Um. So let's put one 
I downloaded the Mona Lisa painting. Where is it? It should be here. Yeah, deleted it. <laughs> Mona Lisa. We can have the Mona Lisa painting. Uh, no, something bigger, bigger. So you can see the scale. Ah, uh, this is really pretty big. Um, hmm, painting. So I saved it in the Vitor folder. There it is. So here we put the hotspot code. So I have a cheat sheet. So name is Mona Lisa. Type image URL painting and remember you need to add well you need to add distorted equals true for it to become a distorted hotspot. Otherwise it won't be a distorted hotspot. So so yes that's a distorted hotspot. So if we say false, it will just float around in the middle. Like that. See? So that's the difference. So so it should be distorted. Okay. Um press T, distorted hot spot, start, drag her around. Um scale down, scale this one. So yeah, you're gonna have to do a bit of trial and error to get the right um, position. Scale up. Hmm. So pretty useful if print. So I don't know why it's not working. Mm. Bef okay, print. Ah, sorry, I I'm messing this up click okay print so I have this I can copy this code here mm. so if I refresh I should have a Mona Lisa painting Uh, that's it for now. Um, I will, yeah, create separate tutorials dedicated on this, the polygons, and on the distorted hotspots. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.